So it means if you have a computer, not just uh, not just uh, read at the website announcements or something like that, but uh, uh, sitting sitting at home, uh, you will be able to look uh, to look at your computer and to see all the all the worship services, all the video materials. You will be able to see them on your computer, all the conf conferences, all the uh, courses, everything will be put into that portal and you will see that. But it's not, it's not uh, the main use. You know that uh, Internet is the main uh, in, in, informational spring in this world. So we decided to open, um, I want to represent uh, a project, uh, it's um, a project, it's the tree of churches. Thank you so much for your work. Did you understand? I need to explain you about this project. Ah. Every affiliate church will receive uh, their round website. Every responsible, every responsible church in the ch uh, person in the affiliate church or pastor can get registered today and uh, can receive his per his uh, his round website. It's a great gift. And also we want uh, to tell that uh, all the news, preachings and text materials, everything what will be published, it will be um, all united, it will be all united uh, into the main portal and um, all people will be able to read all the materials. So I invite all people to get registered and receive your website. Thank you so much. So it's a great gift to every pastor and to every, every pastor of affiliate church. Thank you so much for your work. We are really congratulating you, those who have won prizes. We invite here Pastor Alexander Dzuba from Moscow with his team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greet, greet them. Hallelujah. We have come not just alone. Pastor Boris has told already that we are a multiplied fruit of the Embassy of God here in Ukraine. And this is our fruit here. We have brought it from Moscow so that, that you would see the church in Moscow is not just staying, it's progressing. Pastor Sunday, Pastor Bosse, we would like to invite you to this stage. I understand that it's always difficult uh, during conferences, but I will use this opportunity. In February you were on our stage in Moscow, and now you are here on your stage at home. It's so great to understand that God is developing, raising churches here in Ukraine, just at the world's level. And I see that there is this anointing, this grace for the world's community, for the world's service. Ten years ago, when I was just in the Club Rostock, and I heard that there is one uh, black man who was dancing on a chair and was worshiping God, and I was just, I was just interested. It was just a dirty place there. And now here, after ten years, it's so great to be here on this stage and to see how God raises he, uh, the person whom he has anointed. Hallelujah! God has been faithful to us all these ten years. 
And you know, this is the way how it should be. Ten years ago, when I saw pasta for the first time, I understood that it couldn't be a different way. Maybe it was the dirtiest place we were there, but I saw his heart. And this is a heart of a big scale. And I saw that grace. And I know that uh, in some time, church would take the best building, not only in this city, in this country, but also in all countries of the world. And I am as a witness of this grace. I am here on this stage. Three years ago, we went away from Ukraine, and God told me to go to Moscow, to Russia. And we have come there with a the team and with my wife, with my wife. Also, there were Pastor Zhenya and Maxim is sitting here, and we started just from zero. We rented uh, an apartment, we started G12 group, but in February, this February, we have celebrated our second anniversary the second anniversary of our church. God is doing his terrific work in Moscow. And we're working also with drug and alcohol addicts. Here there is Irina who is responsible for this ministry. We're also working with youth. Our church is spreading out. I also had such revelation that uh, I had a revelation that we're going there to bring the kingdom of God to Russia, and God gives us this vision. I also would like a couple of words to Pastor Zhenya. I know that God gives a, a, a big grace, and it's a grace for missionship for missioners, and I see how God opens the doors. They say that it's impossible to start the church, that it, it was impossible to start the church, but now they are celebrating the second anniversary, and now they have more than 600 of people there as members of the church. We also have opened Missioner's Center this year. It already started its work. And now we have relations with about 60 churches which also want to collaborate with us and they look for our help. And everything what God is doing here in Ukraine, by His grace, His bread, He spreads through His ministers who go to different other countries, to those countries. Hallelujah. Good afternoon once again. All guests and church, we also congratulate you. And Pastor has requested me to say several words about this work with youth, which we are doing. We have registered just a social organization, a regional organization for youth. And we are busy with uh, high educational institutions in Moscow. I didn't even expect it. it. It's actually like a swamp in the good meaning of this word. We just stepped with one hour food in one college. And now uh, the director of this uh, technical college gives us the whole institute. She says, I give you all, just preach. Maybe this director thinks that God is for youth. Well, you see, God uh, gives uh, the, uh, this attitude. They are just in love with us. There used to be a talk show in this college about uh, fornication, and young people even quarreled there during this talk show. And God has come so greatly to that place. We have also opened a youth club for discotheques in Moscow. Some churches thought that it wasn't quite good. But still people from the world come, young people from the world come, and 70% 70, uh, 70 of them are young people, and 60% in our church are young people. And if we have youth, then we have future. And then actually, just two days ago, on the 2nd of April, we also opened a professional uh, studio just for the world, for believers and for non-believers. One brother who uh, was in prison for four years, now he's the director of this theatrical studio. 
He works together with one woman. She was shot in 27 uh, different uh, films, Svetlana Girina. And she used to shoot different documentaries in Hollywood and some uh, films for children. Now we have opened also a drama studio. You see, God is moving. And uh, uh, thank our pastor Sunday and our pastor Sasha for this wisdom. You have equipped us so that we would go there. Because you see, you can go with fire, and many people go with fire, but some people fail. Thank you, Pastor Sunday, and you, Pastor Bose, for this wisdom you have given us, you have equipped us, because this is the most valuable when you work with people. Thank you very much for this. Prasta makes me to read one verse. It's just a funny one, just for encouragement of Ukrainian missionaries for Russian topic. Mm -hmm. It's just a short poem. Just say me uh, daily that really this Moscow which was burned by, with the fire would be given to Jesus. They say there were very uh, big struggles, and still uh, Russia is a big uh, power. Still, there is nothing stronger, there is nothing more dangerous than a Ukrainian person who has been burnt with Jesus. I see that a big fire goes to Russia, and all this nightmare made by devil will be burning in this fire. Everyone who has birthday, he has his most, he has his family who always congratulates him. And Pastor Sunday, we congratulate you with your birthday. And we invite nearest and dearest of Pastor Sunday, his relatives. Let's applaud them. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, praise you. Let's applaud them and welcome them. They came here to a special party, to our birthday and to congratulate our church. Hello. Praise the Lord. Slava Gospodu. I knew that I would be the first to speak today. Because I'm the youngest. Потому что я самая молодая. So I get to do the hard things. My name is Tinuke. I am Pastor Sunday's first cousin. Um, what can I say? Ну, что сказать? Конечно, привилегия для нас быть здесь. Totally, totally you, Мы бесконечно сильно гордимся вами, пастор Сандей. Um, и, конечно, я молюсь, чтобы Бог меня поднимал точно так же, как и вашу церковь, от силы в силу. А, и Бог, чтобы вас поднимал дальше на новые, новые рубежи силы. Years, то, что Бог сделал за последние 10 лет, за следующие 10 лет Бог сделает то же самое умноженное в 3000 раз. Аллилуйя! Um, Это мой сын Тойл. <laughs> He's two years old. Ему два года. And we're both very pleased to be here. И мы оба очень счастливы быть здесь. 
God bless you all. Thank you. Пусть Бог вас всех обильно благословит. Спасибо. Praise the Lord. Слава Господу. It is lovely to be here. Слушайте, так потрясающе быть здесь. We want to wish you happy birthday. Желаем вам самого счастливого дня рождения. Many, many, many happy returns. И чтобы изобилие счастья хлынуло еще больше. May God continue to strengthen you. Пусть Бог продолжит укреплять вас. Empower you. Давать вам больше власти. Give you wisdom, больше мудрости, knowledge, познания, and understanding. И разумения. May the Holy Spirit, пусть Дух Святой, continue to dwell in your heart, а будет продолжать обитать в ваших сердцах, in your church, в ваших церквях, and in your country, и во всей вашей стране и в других странах. Many, many congratulations. Огромнейшие, огромнейшие поздравления. Big brother, Pastor Sunday. Великий брат, Pastor Sunday. We love you. Мы обожаем вас. Our sister, Bosse. И сестра Bosse. We love you too. Обожаем вас также. Many, many congratulations. Огромнейшие, огромнейшие поздравления. May God continue to bless you. Пусть Бог будет продолжать благословлять вас. And strengthen you. И укреплять вас еще более. In Jesus' name we pray. Во имя Иисуса Христа. Amen. I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. Извините, я еще не представилась. I'm Ronke. Меня зовут Ronke. I'm married with two children. У меня двое деток. That's my son in the white shirt. Вот это вот мой сын в белой рубашке. He's four years old. Ему четыре годика. And this in my arms. А на моих руках. Is Canaan. Canaan. Which means promised land, as you all know. То есть. Promised land. Ханан по-русски переводится имя Ханан, то есть обетованная земля. And she. Hallelujah. And she is two years old. Ей два годика. And I'm Tinoke's older sister. И я старшая сестра Тунаке. Yes. Okay. That's. Thank you. Спасибо вам большое. Будет пастор. Praise the Lord. Слава Господу. I am Susan. I'm mother to Tinoke and Ronke. Меня зовут Сюзан. Я мама Тинуке и Ронке. And I'm grandmother to the other children. И, конечно, как вы поняли, я бабушка для всех деток. We're all very. We're all delighted to be here with you this today and these few days to celebrate with you and to praise God for the progress of your wonderful church. Для нас такая огромная радость быть с вами все эти дни и торжествовать вместе с вами о таком грандиозном успехе вашей церкви. For us, it is a very great joy. Для нас большая радость. We thank you for your kind reception, your great welcome, your hospitality. Огромное спасибо за ваше гостеприимство, за ваш такой теплый прием. Спасибо вам большое. And as Ronke said, we wish, we pray that God will continue to bless you and progress you a million fold. И как Ронке сказала, мы молимся и Мы желаем вам, чтобы Бог продолжал благословлять вас и умножать ваши результаты во множество раз. Аллилуйя. Аллилуйя. Thank you. Спасибо вам. Praise Lord, we didn't know yesterday that Susan had a birthday yesterday. And for those who were here yesterday, you had an opportunity to congratulate her. And today we want uh, to give an opportunity to those who are here today, this morning, to congratulate her, our lovely, lovable relative and aunt, and let her, let to sing her happy birthday to you together. 
днем рождения. Давайте будем петь с днем рождения. Good afternoon. Congratulations with your celebration. You are our beloved. You are so beautiful. You can't imagine who you are by your essence. We came with our team from the United States and there are other members of our team in the hall. When you leave a country for another country, you don't value what is happening in your home country. But when we left the airport in States, we saw dark faces. People in the United States didn't know uh, the era of communism. However, nowadays in Ukraine, people experience joy. You are a new generation of people. You are full of love, joy. I can't express these words to you. My assistant pastor uh, was a pastor in Belarus, and he said that the situation in Belarus is even worse than in Ukraine, not speaking about believers. That freedom that we uh, spread all over is very precious. We appreciate you very much. We are very happy to be a part of this historical moment, to be with you, and you are with us. We would like to tell you a few words. We are like first messengers to the United States from God's embassy. And we would like to encourage you. It's worth it to go to other countries. Uh, don't uh, pay attention to your age. We are grandparents, and despite this fact, we made our decision to leave Ukraine for the USA, even though we didn't know English language. And supernaturally, God began surrounding us with proper people. We began praying in one flat. However, that uh, space wasn't enough to embrace all people who were coming for the prayer. We called to God and within a year we already had keys for premises to a new uh, building uh, that embraces 500 people. Supernaturally, God surrounded us with spiritual family. It was very hard for us to leave all of you. You became so dear to us. But when you uh, come to another place as a missionary, God will surround you with people who will bring joy and love to you. We are surrounded with spiritual family, with friends nowadays. Uh, we didn't know anything about states. We didn't know constitution. We didn't know law. We didn't know the language. We didn't know anything at all. But supernaturally, God surrounded us with proper people. We even made mistakes in our uh, papers when we were buying uh, premises for the church. But supernaturally, God solved that problem. God is doing wonderful things in the United States. And we are testifying you about God's miracles. It doesn't matter to God what is your age. For example, we fulfilled ourselves in the land of the United States. We uh, are rooted in the land of the USA. And we are already sending out other missionaries to other parts of the USA, including Florida. And we are building an entire net of God's embassy in the United States. And we believe that it will be a platform for God's embassy to send out other missionaries all over the world. And when you make a step of faith, when you make a step forward to a strange land, then you begin experiencing God's grace. 
When Peter stepped out of the boat, he began experiencing God's miracles, God's grace. I already have a desire to move to another part. Sacramento is not enough for me anymore. I would like to go to another place to help people there. God is living and you can rely to him. God is God of Sacramento, of Siberia, of India. He is Almighty God and all praise belongs to him. Amen. Amen. And I also would like to tell you about that important love that we experience in the United States. We are in need of your support, of your prayers. And you know, the biggest blessing that we have is our Pastor Sunday. Hallelujah! Because such a Потому tremendous grace is upon him. And this grace has been passed to our людей, lives and to lives of people with whom we fellowship. And we, we experienced this grace in our lives and in members of our church. The Spirit of God brought every member of our church to our church because in order to get to our church, these people needed to step over different uh, barriers, including religious barriers, a verbal barrier and everyone who came to our church found what you have here in God's embassy in Kyiv because tremendous grace is on our pastor, Pastor Sunday. And uh, the fact that we bought premises for our church is a sign of God's glory on Pastor Sunday. And Pastor Sunday, Pastor Boas, we are so grateful to you for your love, for grace that you pass to those whom you send out. It's a special gift for multiplication, for uh, spreading all over the world, for uh, conquering the land. And you have this gift. And what Pastor Ted was testifying about, uh, we also experienced it. We are living witnesses of Pastor Sunday's grace. We are very thankful to God for every one of you, for your prayers, because they are very important. If you pray for somebody, be aware that God is moving through your prayers. That's why I want to give thanks to every one of you. I want to thank all of my friends, all people with whom I communicated. I appreciate you very much because I lived in states due to your prayers and your prayers supported every one of us and we appreciate what you are doing for us very much. I give glory to God in this place and I am saying, God, you are my Lord and I glorify you for your grace, for your manifestation that you uh, placed on Pastor Sunday and for ability to see this grace and manifestation of your glory in the United States. Be 